Are you a hardcore overclocker or just someone who likes the board? Because either way you should definitely stick around for this awesome video and uh, stick around for the awesome exclusive we have as well right here on Tech Team GB. Check out our website at techteamgb.co.uk for more info on both this and many other products and also up to date news on all things tech. Stick around for this awesome video. Now we don't normally show the box and reviews but uh, since this is an overview and showcase since we can't actually review this board properly um, we thought we'd show you anyway. So as, you, as usual, a uh, very nice design in the front, obviously all the features you could possibly imagine in the back. And just to make this clear, this is the X99 SoC Champion, not the system on chip, the super overclocking champion, because who doesn't love something super? Um, now the reason we can't review this board is because it's a super overclocking champion board. It's um, It's been breaking and winning world records uh, for a while now, and it is an awesome board. But unless you're using liquid nitrogen or liquid helium, um, there's, there's next to no point in trying to actually review this board. Now, one thing I want to make clear is that they have actually removed features from this board, but that is actually a really good thing. They've taken off some of the, not necessarily even gimmicky, just things that overclockers wouldn't use, such as the eight randoms, they've removed that down to four, um, and they've added things like a six pin power connector to add more power to the PCI lanes if you want to overclock your graphics card, but you still do get some nice things like amp up audio and an M.2 port. Now, the rear I.O. is again overclocking friendly as it has the PS2 mouse and a separate PS2 uh, keyboard port. You also get two USB 2, uh, three, sorry, four USB 2 ports, four USB 3 ports, gigabit LAN and audio, uh, SIM point audio, audio just in case. Now, because there are so many voltage checkpoints on the right hand side of the board, all the front panel audio is actually on the uh, front panel connectors are on the bottom, including a Thunderbolt connector, which I actually found quite nice. Now, as I said, you get all the stuff on the bottom, but the coolest thing about this for me is the general aesthetic. This thing looks amazing with all the orange, black, and silver accents. The heat sinks look amazing, and we'll talk a bit more on that in just a second. But um, you know, this this thing looks amazing and will look amazing even when it's covered in thermal plastic and. Uh, you know, liquid nitrogen, so that's always awesome. Now on the right hand side of the board is where the real awesome stuff happens. So obviously you still have your SATA ports including a SATA Express port, but the coolest thing is that you get things like that CPU mode switch there for default and OC mode. You also get those voltage checkpoints and a hell of a lot more voltage checkpoints. You also get things like BIOS switches, hardware, power, reset and CMOS clear buttons. Um, you also get, you know, more voltage checkpoints up the top and finally a uh, uh, seven segment display to show the debug codes in case you're having issues booting and you know from liquid nitrogen or liquid helium So that's really really awesome This board also feels quite reinforced and has an awesome power phase design and to go along with that you have uh, Effectively four heat sinks including the chipset one and they're all connected via what seems like one large uh, heat pipe which is really cool. It looks amazing. It distributes heat uh, as far as I'm aware, you know fantastic Lee I guess um, and you know it just is, is awesome. Um, so to make sure this board does actually work, we're going to throw in an i7-5820K just to make sure that uh, it all ticks over and one of the coolest things is that uh, Corsair and Gigabyte have been working together with this board to create some awesome looking RAM. Now we have one of the only kits in the world right now, we're one of the only if not the only um, tech news media to even have this so this is awesome and huge thanks to Gigabyte and Corsair for this but this 3400 MHz super special edition RAM RAM is orange, it's Corsair Dominator Platinums, it's the only RAM kit on earth right now to have XMP 3400 MHz out of the box, obviously it comes with um, you know the, the fans as usual, but if you want to check out a full review of these, click on the screen now or in the description down below. Now as I said these are awesome, they colour match perfectly with this board and I just love it, it's fantastic. Now obviously this is a 16 gig kit and that's more than enough for almost any use in general except for you know high end server applications I guess. And uh, you know it's just, it's honestly awesome and just really cool to look at. Now I did throw this in a system uh, and I'm kind of uh, waffling at this point anyway so I'm going to throw on some cool music and uh, let you enjoy the awesome sights. Bye. 
so thank you for watching this rather unusual video. Um, if you did like this style, uh, let us know in the comments down below. Obviously, we couldn't officially review this one because it's, you know, just out of our league, really. But, um, you know, let me know what you think of the video, the motherboard. Would you get this? Are you a professional overclocker? Let us know in the comments down below. Other than that, hit the like button if you like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And other than that, um, yeah, we'll see you all in the next video. So, uh, thanks for watching. So, thanks for watching this Titan GB video. Uh, you've probably heard enough of me already, so I'm going to finish off by saying please subscribe if you haven't already. It helps us out a hell of a lot, and it means that just the world to us in general. Please do feel free to check out some of our recent videos both down below. Um, they're uh, more recent ones and they're certainly awesome. Uh, feel free to click my face for the website and click all the links over there for our Amazon affiliate uh, link, our social media and also our YouTube channel as well. Other than that, as I said, please subscribe, like, share, favourite and all the other many things possible and we'll see you all in the next video.